so let us have a look at the assignment that we took yesterday find out if you are able to see your program once you have ensured enough physical facilities this means that we are working for having more than required physical facilities and we may come to a stage in our life when we are able to see that yes we have made enough arrangement for that now now the facilities that i have today are going to fulfill my need and even for the time to come i have arranged for availability of the physical facilities so now i am having today and will be having in the days to come more than required so once i am able to see this that i have more than required physical facilities then what is my program now what am i going to do in my life now am i able to see this am i able to see this so once you are able to make out that the need for physical facilities is limited and we are also able to see that i have more than required then how i am going to spend my time how i am going to utilize things how i am going to spend the rest of my life what is going to be my goal of my life is that vision clear to us or not this was one part of the assignment the second thing is about imagination that if there is no limit to income are you able to make out all the physical facilities that you need try to articulate it so as we were discussing earlier while discussing the need for physical facilities and also the coexistence of self and body that it may be the case that presently we are trying to make out the need for physical facility depending on our income so let us say that there is no limit to the income okay and then i have to make out what all facilities will i require there may be certain things which i am not having but i may have desire for that but i have also tried to make me assume that okay since i am not going to have it ever why to have it why to think about it so if i have to imagine myself completely and just feel that i am going to have whatever is required for me then what would be those facilities which would come to my imagination which would be there in my desire uh, can we make it out so like for example it may be the case that i have heard that one person in our country has a house of so many stories and 600 rooms so maybe i have a wish that i let me also have such a house so you may have so many wishes isn't it let me also not do anything in my house and let there be so many servants in the house who will do all the chores why should i you know do these chores myself let others do it for me you may have uh, a wish that let me have a private jet wherever i have to go i will just fly and go there so is that so do we have such wishes so try to make a list of such wishes also try to see whether we have such wishes such desires of course when i look at the availability of physical facilities and the limitation of my body then i may feel that okay this is not achievable so why to think about it but such wishes might be there inside us try to make it out are there any wishes it may be the case that i have such wishes which have got suppressed but whenever i am there with myself then my attention may be drawn towards all these things isn't it that that could be for my physical facilities that could be for my body and so many things could be there so we can just have a look at it and why we are investigating it because then we are trying to associate our happiness to the facilities which i am not able to fulfill and that is causing me unhappiness somehow or the other i am associating the happiness to the body that i have for example i may feel that this is just an addition to this i may feel that yes i have this kind of body but if i had the body just like that film actor or actress you know i would have been much much happier in my life that could also be there now these are such things which may be deeply seated at the level of desire okay whenever i come across such situations so i get exposed to the things like this then i get fascinated i get attracted towards such things and that may occupy my imagination so what we are trying to do we are trying to dig out our desires we are trying to dig out our deep sanskars our conditionings which we may not be generally aware of it may be the case that you went and met one movie actor and you got so impressed and you start thinking something about this 
there used to be one TV serial. It was called as Mungeri Lal Ke Haseen Sapne. It was there in Hindi. It was shown in, I think, uh, early 90s. Okay. And it is shown that there is a peon in an office and he sleeps during the day. And as soon as he sleeps, he gets various dreams. And the dreams are triggered by the situations that he is in. Like somebody visiting the office or he is reading some news or somebody talking to him and getting giving some idea. And his imagination completely gets drifted away you know, during the sleep. And he will be keep will be dreaming for the 20-30 minutes of the serial and then coming back. Are there such wishes, such dreams inside us which we have not explored, not investigated? But they may get triggered at times by situations, by people, by circumstances. So try to make it out also, isn't it? Then the third point is, in the many varied activities that you are involved in throughout the day, note who is the one doing the acti deciding the activity. You, that is the self or the body. So yesterday we were discussing, today we'll discuss it further, that I am the seer. I am the doer. I am the experiencer or enjoyer. To try to find out who is deciding the activity, you are the body. Can you see that for every activity, you are the one who is the decision maker? That is, you are the seer, doer, and experiencer, and that you are doing the body, you are using the body only as an instrument. So, we have to observe this part also. So, the first two questions pertain to the feeling of prosperity, the next two pertain to the self being the seer, doer, and experiencer. So, observe. Uh, you have to observe it throughout the day and then you have to note your observations. So you will see that in the morning session, the way we have been exploring in depth, in some sense we are conducting some research upon us. And this is just like doing a PhD. We are, to, we are trying to dig out our deep sanskars, our deep conditionings, our natural acceptance, something that we have been ignoring and we are trying to be aware of the realities. In this process, it may also be the case that you get reminded of your past and there may be some pains in the past and you may get reminded of and get affected by it. It may be the case that you start getting some fears of the future. It may be the case that you get reminded of some relative and you have some deep opposition feeling and also that gets triggered. So many situations we may come across. That is fine because that is there in us. And we need to be aware of it. So we are conducting a research, a thorough investigation, isn't it? As you go for full body checkup, no, to the doctor. Now we are trying to have a full self checkup <laughs> in the morning session. G, Sapan Bhaiya. Namaste Bhaiya. Am I audible? Uh, yes, Bhaiya. What all you said uh, before you HB before this morning session, it was all happening. Means due to the peer pressure seeing others, all concentration was on the body, the physical facilities. After this, the clarity is coming that physical facilities are just an instrument for the body and body is also an instrument for the self. So a lot of calmness is there. But before that, many incidents I can quote, like there used to be frustration that I have, whatever I have with me, even the family was trying to put the pressure. There's so much pressure. And before UHV, yes, there was pressure that, okay, only the physical facilities can make you successful. So there was always a feeling that uh, I'm, I, I don't, I'm not feeling prosperous. So a lot of frustration was there. But now I can see that my role and participation and can see that how many, at least for myself, I can't see, I can't, I can't say for the family member, but then it is coming to the family members also because uh, one person is playing the role, they also see. So, but now at least for me, uh, I'm very clear that, okay, then what is my participation and role? Because I can see somebody needs financial help. Earlier it was a confusion, contradiction. If my brother is coming or my friend is coming, that if I will give to them, then when they will return and how will what will happen to me, can I give to them? But now I can see a lot of role on this that, uh, even somebody needs financial help, so I'm very clear. Okay, what is my role in that? 
and then even i can see uh, some of my relatives or like that whom we considered in our earlier times that they were very big house and they are very successful but now i can see from the relationship point of view they are means very very suffering and uh, we we are from the relationship point of view are means ahead so even i can see now the past where i was getting influenced by the physical facilities of the other now i can see that actually that okay the relationships are more important feelings are more important so that is the main uh, success of the life in a way i can um, see to that and one so one thing i want to share uh, so what is my participation and role uh, yeah right now i am in gurgaon for the placements and all because there is a pressure uh, you you always and here also uh, as you always say that uh, can you see your participation commitment so after which we i am means give more participation of mine in other activities also so i volunteered that okay let me go for this placement and all the meet the company heads and all but here i am in gurgaon but i am seeing that all that youngsters uh, means Uh, they are all into that uh, packed glass packed buildings high rise buildings air conditioned buildings and uh, means they don't have even time to talk for 30 seconds even and then i am seeing that there are um, means, means all youngsters are doing lot of smoking and all which i uh, which I, <laughs> and uh, point is this i am looking for the placements of my students in this uh, atmosphere so what is my role and participation yes placement is important if you will not get the placement then how will they do it but then the role and participation as as an instructor or as a course instructor about this so i'm seeing my role by going back to the college i'm already teaching this course but then lot of other things also have to be uh, means uh, under uhv so that can sustain the peer pressure because i'm feeling the peer pressure and the stress a lot of stress so all youngsters by this boys and girls uh, they are under peer pressure and one of my colleagues who is with me right now he said that he left this industry it industry because on the of this that he was under peer pressure that he have to smoke and all he will not smoke so point is this yes we have to uh, do a job and all but then we have to sustain the peer pressure also So I think here the UHV role and my role, my participation is there. So for the time being, just this is the sharing. Nice, Bhaiya. Nice. Thank you, Bhaiya. Thank you. You have bhaiya. been attending the morning session so consistently. We can yes, see bhaiya. that you logged in before five thirty <laughs> every day. Yes, so. yes, yes, Bhaiya. Yes, Bhaiya. Even I was very tired. The body was tired since three a.m. Uh, I was up in the morning yesterday, but now one you know, six hours, seven hours means I I slept. Uh, means at nine, and I again I am I am here to attend the morning. Nice, Bhaiya. Namaste, everyone, sir. Am I audible? Yeah, audible. Okay, sir. Sir, yesterday in one of the slide there is a particular mentioning that uh, something is less than one by fourth. Sir, in yeah. the last yeah in the last slide, <clears throat> so the time was over. So uh, that that thing. I want to ask you, sir. Less than one by four. What is the meaning of it? Yes, no, boy. It was there. It was there in the first slide that you showed. No, it was mentioned one by four. Yeah. So if you look at our complete expanse of living, we live at four levels: individual, family, society, and nature. Now, at the level of individual, we have two entities: self and body. And physical facilities required only for the body, not the self. if you look at the need for physical facility it is only for like uh, at the level of individual and that also only for the body so whatever we are doing for the physical facility like production protection or right utilization it is going to cater to only one fourth of my program less than one fourth because my complete program is to understand and to live in harmony at all the four levels and the physical facilities are catering to the need of only one level and that also not completely and you know, a partly only for the body that's how we are mentioned but the fraction that is mentioned here is only to draw your attention that how can it be the complete purpose of my life when it is going to fulfill my only less than one fourth of the program so it is only to draw the attention 
Okay. Now, one may say that once you talk about right utilization, then right utilization again goes to the understanding and feeling in the self or participation in relationship. So, if I have to put it more precisely, then I'll say that production and protection of physical facilities is only less than one fourth of my program. I can remove right utilization from here and then say that production and protection of the physical facilities is even less than one fourth of my complete program. That can also be said. So, this is only to draw your attention. Okay, sir. So that means ma main part of us is the right understanding and the right feeling towards relationship and physical facility, no, sir? Yeah. So if you look at the something that is written on the left hand side, to understand and to live in harmony at all mm -hmm. levels of being from mm -hmm. self to the entire existence is my program to ensure continuity of happiness. Isn't it? Yes. So this is my complete program. Whatever I do with physical facility or for physical facility is only a very small part of my complete program. And we can make it out in the 24 hours of the day. Okay. How much time I have to spend for physical facilities? And how much time I have to spend for the self? So I can work for the self all the 24 hours. But I don't need to work for physical facility all the 24 hours. When I'm sleeping for 8 hours at night, I do not have to work for phys physical facilities. Even when I am coming back from the office, then I do not have to work for physical facilities. I have to spend time for relationship. I have to spend time for uh, health. I have to spend time for you know, right understanding, right feeling, doing some self-study, isn't it? Yes, so yes. So and protection of physical facilities is a very small part of our program. Mm -hmm. In fact, the way we have going on, we have been going on increasing our levels of consumption. We have to be more and more involved with physical facilities. Otherwise, if you see, when we are able to live in harmony in our relationships, in the extended family, or let's say in a joint family, then working for limited hours in a day would be sufficient to fulfill our need for physical facility. But now that we have uh, some kind of unique setup for every family, every family has to arrange for everything by itself, then the families are getting more and more involved for production and protection of physical facilities. Isn't it? Now when the families are disintegrating, every individual has to arrange for physical facilities and that also uh, the imagination is dictated by so many preconditioned things. Mm -hmm. So that's how the assessment of the physical facility is going up and that's how we have become more busy working for physical facilities. Otherwise, there is no need to work so much for physical facilities. Isn't it? Yes, sir. Sir, and uh, see, sir, we have <clears throat> many memories in our life. And whenever we study the self, uh, we had uh, previous memories. Sir, say at some point of life, uh, we have a feeling that, uh, yes, uh, if we have done these things in at this age, then maybe we will be in a better place than now. So, sir, how to tackle those feelings? Yeah, that's what, no, if you look at the, second assignment, second point in the assignment. So that is what we are saying that try to make out all your wishes. If I had done this, then I would have been much happier in my life. If I had cleared this examination, if I had become you know, this officer, if I had my house in this city, if I had this facility in my life. So try to make out all those wishes and then try to evaluate. Will it really ensure? Now, if you look at the chart that we are having on display just now, need of the self is completely different from the need of the body. We are relating physical facility or post or name and fame or certain things to our happiness, which may not be true. The need for happiness is going to be fulfilled by right understanding, right feeling. Whatever I get from outside is only an information. I associate or I may not associate happiness to it. So first of all, I require physical facility only for the body. <clears throat> Second thing, I can see that happiness is my innate nature. It is not something that I get from outside, whether it is some favorable feeling or some sensation from the body. So one shift that we take is like physical facility required only for the body, not for me. Second thing, even if I get some favorable feeling from the other or some sensation from the body, okay, by some means or the other, 
it is not going to ensure happiness in continuity so all those wishes get evaluated now that's what we are trying to make out that's why i was saying no a full self check up <laughs> we may have so many layers of wishes and desires and ambitions <laughs> which might have remained unfulfilled and yeah. we are feeling unhappy for that <laughs> so try to make out all those wishes and desires i'm saying wishes separately because those are some unfulfilled desires which might we have been craving for you know and they have remained unfulfilled but they do occupy our imagination they get triggered at times uh, in different situations i meet someone you know and i those wishes may get triggered i come across some situation those wishes may get triggered or oh, if i had so much money that i would also have gone for space tourism or oh, if i had so much money that i would have you know gone to burj khalifa and saw the world from this height seen the world from this height this those kinds of things might be there in my imagination try to make them out and you can see that there could be n number of things which we might have accumulated in our desires getting influence from outside okay sir namaste to all sir namaste i'm shubh kumar so can you explore what is the seer doer and experience yes 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 we are going to discuss it at length today okay. so seer means the one who sees or observes or knows doer means one who takes decisions and experiencer or enjoyer is the one who feels happy or unhappy so what is it is it, is it the self or the body what do self. you think self. self so that is what we are trying to make out now at the level of thought we may analyze and say self but am i able to see it very naturally within me that it is the it is me the self who decides not the body it is me who experiences not the body it is me who comes to know not the body and by all this exercise what we are going to essentially conclude is that i am central to my being as a human being the body is merely an instrument so now our attention is more and more drawn towards the development in the self the core achievement in the self otherwise we may be looking for achievement outside in terms of physical facilities in terms of body isn't it now our attention is drawn more towards self i am able to see that this body is merely an instrument which i am utilizing to develop myself to awaken the higher level activities isn't it in this devi prasanth ji mm. namaste kumar bhaiya namaste all namaste uh, yesterday i checked with my uh, physical facilities uh, and i found that uh, i now i do not want any more because already i feel prosperous in that and uh, there is family understanding and pressure that yes we should we should go for a new one suppose a fridge is not working properly so it is already 10 years old so therefore it may be changed so par- partially i agreed to them yes we may go for that one uh, so if the look is not all right and all that so i need to modify it i should not go for the new, a new one so that is my understanding now except one thing uh, <clears throat> that to build a house uh, uh, for me and my family members that is that i have a, i have one two sons and my wife is telling that yes in future they may be not in good relationship so therefore at least two buildings for two children so it is not decided uh, by me still uh, sometimes i agree that yes that may happen so um, before we leave this world we must give something to our children so that they do not quarrel in future so this is what i have uh, explored and uh, i have not taken final decision to whether to go for the second house 
second building or not. Thank you. I, I could see, see this much only. I have not uh, verified with myself and body. Nice, nice, Bhaiya. So let me just share one thing here that if you want to give something to your children, okay, let it be right understanding and right feeling. See, every person is capable of producing more than what one requires. You already have one building and you have two children. Now, so that there is harmony yeah. between the two children. Is it, it is not actually the house that will ensure harmony, isn't it? Even if you build a new house yeah. for the second child, like still there may be some competition or there is some, some envy among the children that the father gives, gave the better house to you and the worse to me. That kind of feeling also might be there. Yeah. So in place of yeah. Yeah. facilities, yeah. we may see that, no, they can produce themselves. You have one house, you live comfortably there. That could be one way of going ahead. And you give them proper education, right education. Let them work for continuity of happiness and prosperity. And then they may be in a position to arrange for facilities by themselves. And with uh, their own effort, they can arrange for it. It's not that you have to arrange for it. Otherwise, you will get busy again. So the first question that we had, no? Like once we have, once we are able to see that we have enough physical facilities, what is going to be our program now? Now, this is a common mistake in Indian families also. We feel affectionate towards our children. We are able to see that now we have enough. Then we start arranging for physical facilities for the children. If we have been able to arrange for them, then we start arranging for the grandchildren. Isn't it? And that becomes a kind of cycle and we are engrossed with only physical facilities, which is less than one-fourth of our program throughout the life. We arranged it for ourselves first, then for our children, then our grandchildren, and then we have to arrange for their marriages and so many things. See, ultimately, the need for physical facility is limited, and every person is capable of producing more than what is required. So now I have to make my program in terms of right understanding, right feeling. If I do that, then that will give a better sanskar in my children. They will also be able to place right understanding at the first priority, isn't it? Otherwise, they will also they, yeah. they will also be working for accumulation and indulgence. So this is just one way of thinking, and you can explore it yourself. I just gave you a hint that yeah. the first responsibility towards our children is to work for their right understanding, right feelings. There is a common saying in UP and Bihar, which I mentioned earlier also. In Hindi, it is called as Put sab put to kyo dhan sanchai or put ka put to kyo dhan sanchai. If your children yeah, yeah. are nice, similar type in also. Yes. <laughs> and when the children are not nice, <laughs> then why to accumulate yeah. for them? Isn't it? Mm -hmm. Yeah. So this first point is very important. See, in one part of our life, we have been struggling for having physical facilities. Now, once we have enough, we are not able to see what to do next. So either we start arranging for others, the physical facilities again. We are again working in the domain of physical facility. Or we try to add up more and more physical facilities for ourselves. And this becomes again the same kind of loop that the feeling that I do not have enough to have to work for more. But if you are able to place right understanding and right feeling on a higher priority than physical facility, then we are able to see our role in terms of participation for undivided society and universal human order. There may be so many people who are homeless, isn't it? There may be so much of injustice in the society. And now I have time to work for justice. I have time to work for ensuring uh, livelihood for them. I have time to work for uh, nature now. I have time to work for fulfilling the human goal now, to make education humane now. Now I can see if I have this priority within me. Otherwise, I will again get engrossed only with physical facilities. But again, I'll say that this is just a kind of hint from my side, and we can keep it open and observe. Yeah, yeah. One one problem here is that, yeah. that uh, the children they are showing the defects, uh, the demerits of the house, some deficiencies, so they want a new one. So in that case, <laughs> I am. Uh, yeah. So we all can work together for that. No, it's not that you have to arrange for everything. We can work together. So first of yeah, all, I yeah. suggest that you let them attend a workshop and then have your family meeting and then decide. So see, unless you yes. let them go through this process of self-exploration, 
वॉट एवर वी हैव टूडे मे ऑलवेज अपियर है ना नॉट सो गुड एंड समथिंग एल्स मे अपियर बेटर दैट इज ऑल्सो देयर सो द हाउस मे बी इन अ काइंड ऑफ लेट से है ना दैट काइंड ऑफ स्टेट दैट इज पॉसिबल बट स्टिल द नीड्स नीड टू बिकम क्लियर नमस्ते भैया नमस्ते सभी आई एम ऑडिबल भैया जी ऑडिबल Uh, it is pertaining to yesterday's uh, Tara Prasanna's bhai question, bhai. You uh, responded for the self in the being part. So I just wanted to know why the self is uh, trying to get to this material, uh, coexisting with the material, and why it is trying to uh, come into the living part. Because it's uh, as you said, self is only with the being. So uh, that uh, I can be, I can be, na, bhai, without the. I can only only for the transaction I want this body. So that's what was going on with me. So I just wanted the clarification. Thank you. Yes, Baya. So I can be, but my being is not fulfilling to me. That is the issue. So I am there, even if the body is not there, I am there. But since the higher level activities are not awakened, so I am not in a state of continuity of happiness. I am not comfortable within with me. And this is something that we can make out even with the bodies that we are not comfortable with ourselves. Because we are not clear about relationship, we are not clear about harmony, we are not clear about coexistence. Now, how to have that clarity? How to awaken the high level activities? So, for that, I need to go through self exploration, and to go through self exploration, I require the body because I have to take the proposal from outside. I can verify within, but I have to validate it again outside. And we can see that the kind of rigor that is required, it does take time. So, we need the body to. You know, Go through all this, then only we are able to explore, and then only we are able to contemplate, understand, and realize. That's how we need the body. Some more hands are raised, but what we'll do now? We'll go to the content part, and then take up questions. Ji bhaiya. So this is what we had been discussing yesterday. That I am there, and my body is there. I want to live. My body is used as an instrument. and it's not only that i want to live i want to live with continuous happiness and physical facilities required for three purposes for the body nurturing the body protecting the body and rightly utilizing the body if i look at my program it is to understand harmony at all levels of my being right from individual to the entire existence and then living accordingly in that process whatever i do for physical facility is a very small part of my complete program <clears throat> so physical facility Cannot occupy my complete program. It cannot be like my full program. So I don't need to spend all my time working for physical facility, isn't it? And we had also discussed briefly. We we'll elaborate upon it today that I am the seer, I am the doer, I am the experiencer or enjoyer, and body is merely an instrument. So when we say I am the seer, it means the one that sees or understands. So if you are given something in your hand and you conclude that it is a pen. it is not our eyes that conclude this it is you that concluded this the self sees via the eyes the eyes don't see themselves so i see through the eyes isn't it i is a part of the body for example when i had to read this slide i took out a speck and specks and put on my eyes i am looking through specks then through eyes but it is me who is seeing the specks are not seeing the specs is an instrument for the body and this body is an instrument for me the eyes are an instrument for me i am the one who is seeing and similarly all, all the five senses are just the instrument that enable the self to see something outside just like you see outside you can see within also without using the body for sensation so when i have to make out for myself whether i am comfortable or not what my wishes are and you know, the way we are discussing so we can make out without utilizing the body also i can directly see it so you can see that you are feeling happy or you are getting angry the the self i sees or understands sometimes with the help of the body sometimes without the help of the body and the body is merely an instrument so to observe to see my thoughts to see my desires to see my imagination i don't need the body to see the reality to contemplate to understand to realize i don't need the body at that point of time when i'm seeing but in the process when i'm taking the proposal okay i'm discussing 
I'm violating in my living, then I require the body. So this seeing can be, you know, they are in such a way that sometimes I require this instrument, sometimes I don't. But ultimately, it is me who sees. It is me who observes. The body is merely working as an instrument. And as I was mentioning that if the eyes are not, you know, maybe uh, able to observe to that level, then I may require some other instrument. If my ears are not working to that level that I can clearly make out the sound, I may require some other instrument. If the touch is not, you know, working to that level, so I may require some instrument. So these physical facilities are instrument for the body, and the body is instrument for me. But it is me ultimately who sees, who observes, who understands. Sometimes through the body, sometimes without utilizing the body. Sometimes utilizing some instrument, sometimes without the instrument also. I am the doer. So doer means the one that does, who takes decisions to do. So I am the one who decides. I decide what to do, what not to do. I may or may not use the body to do. What I think of is my decision. I do that thinking within myself. There is no role of the body in this. If required, the body is used to express my decision. So the body is used as an instrument again here. So whatever decision is being taken, it is being taken by me. And as you go along, you can see that I decide my feeling. I decide to read the sensation from the body. I decide to give some meaning to the sensation. I decide to react or respond, isn't it? Presently also when we are attending the morning session, we are deciding to getting up early in the morning, switch on the uh, mobile, you know, go to that link of Zoom, and then listen or observe. So every time I am deciding, the self is deciding, the body is not deciding. When you feel that the signal is not proper, you may decide somewhere that, okay, today I will not be able to attend. So let it be. It is you who decide it, not the body. Every time, isn't it? And I am the enjoyer. means the one that experiences happiness or unhappiness. So maybe a mosquito is sitting on the body and biting the body. And you have some kind of sensation in the body. Now you may feel happy or unhappy about it. For example, you try to kill the mosquito and the mosquito flew away. And you may have a thought, okay, I cannot even kill a mosquito in my life. The life is a hell. You know, I'm worth for nothing. <laughs> so I may have this kind of feeling also. And then I suddenly feel sad early in the morning that I could not even kill a mosquito. How can I run this business? How can I pass this examination? You know, how I can get this promotion? How I can achieve this in my life? I'm good for nothing. Now, what has happened here? I am feeling unhappy. Something happened on the body. But ultimately, it is me who is feeling unhappy. And I could have another kind of feeling also. Because I am the one who is the decision maker. I may have associated some different meaning to this whole thing. So, it is ultimately me. There are sensations in the body. And the sensations are only physiochemical activities in the body. I read the sensation with my own decision. And then I may feel happy or unhappy about it. Somebody is saying some profane language to me. I listen to it. I ultimately decide to listen. I ultimately decide to give some meaning to it. And I ultimately become happy or unhappy about it. If I feel that, oh, oh my old friend, you, know, you just reminded me of the old days in our BTEC when you used to meet, we always abused each other. The same profane language. Okay, And then you suddenly feel uh, <laughs> delighted about meeting your old friend listening to the same profane language. But if the person who is using the profane language is your neighbor and who is always at you know, uh, some kind of you know, tough, uh, tough relation with you and he is using this kind of language in the morning and you suddenly feel angry, you may become violent because you become some suddenly unhappy about it. So again, it is me who is unhappy or happy. It's not the body. So I enjoy or I experience, it's not the body. Through the body, I'm only getting an information. I'm the one who feels enthused or depressed. I'm the one who feels angry or delighted. Are we able to see this? So I'm the enjoyer, I'm the experiencer. Okay, Ramesh Gaikwadji has shared something in the chat box. This seer, doer, experiencer not triggered. I am retired in 2021. My feelings were like I have completed all my responsibilities and role towards my body, family, society, and my organization, and most of for whom I am in coexistence with. My needs now are limited and basic one that is only for 
sustenance and protect my body health. Now it is getting clear the needs of the self to be in harmony, right understanding, feelings and natural acceptance. Nice beer, good exploration. So with all this, we can see that self is central to human existence because I am the seer, I am the doer, I am the enjoyer. Then what this body is? The body is a physiochemical entity, a metal entity working as my instrument. Now this particular observation that I am central to you know, existence of myself as a human being is very important. Then our whole vision of life is different. It could be that our focus of life earlier was physical facility. All the time thinking about physical facilities, accumulating them, making out various means and ways to mo get more and more, earn more and more, accumulate more and more, isn't it? Trying to look for various schemes, possibilities where I can get some more income. It could be one, that all the time we are focused upon physical facilities. Then from there our attention can be drawn to the body or let's say the human being. And now we are somewhat more concerned about the body. Let my body be healthy and it may work for the body. Let it continue for as long as possible. So now our focus has got shifted from physical facility to the body. And then it may get, the attention may get drawn towards the self. That essentially the physical facilities are an instrument for the body and the body is my instrument. If I'm leading a life of 70 years, 80 years, 100 years, okay, ultimately, what have I been able to take out from this life? What is going to be my takeaway in this life? What have I gained in the whole life that I have spent so far? What have my achievement? If I look at myself, what have I been able to understand? What have I been able to contemplate? What has become clear to me? Now I have to be serious about it. Otherwise, you'll keep on saying that, okay, I have to come empty-handed, I have to go empty-handed. You know, this life is null and void. Okay, there is no achievement as such. Whatever is there will remain here. The body will go into ashes. The physical facilities will remain here. And we may chant these kinds of words <laughs> at times, isn't it? When we look at somebody dying or when we you know, are at the cremation ground, we may have these kinds of thoughts, this kind of feeling. But ultimately, you know, if I'm not able to see that self is central to human existence, we are not able to decide our takeaway from the life. But with some exploration, even at a very tender age, I can have a clear vision of my life. In fact, if we are able to include this kind of input in the primary education and the children now become clear, even before they reach the teenage, and they may have this kind of vision, this kind of clarity that what I'm going to do with my life now. Children are not clear what they have to do with the life. It's a very kind of you know, serious problem. They are just under peer pressure doing something or the other. Two days back, I got a news from IIT that three students have committed suicide in the last six months. The last one was the PhD student. Now they are not clear what to do with the life. They are studying some elite institute. They are you know, achievers in the eyes of the society. But what is happening within them? What are they experiencing? Is it happiness? Or acute unhappiness that they think like committing suicide? Okay. Yeah, yeah, that was cool. yeah, uh, you know, uh, you said while we are looking at ourselves as a sheer doer and enjoyer, we don't need a body because we are observing at the level of self. Can you derive this meaning that the self is perennial and you know it is there and continues? So even if the body is not there, then also the possibility of seeing, doing and enjoying is there. Is it like that? Yes, Bhaiya. Even if the body is not there, I am the seer, doer, enjoyer. That is going to be there. But the content of seeing, content of doing, content of enjoying would be limited to my competence that I have developed while I was coexisting with the body. So if I have not been through self-exploration, then my level of observation would be limited to my imagination. It will not be in block B1. I will not be able to contemplate or understand or realize because that has been my level of competence so far. I will take decisions that, that would be dictated by preconditioning. Sensation is no longer there from the body, but I may have taste of sensation. 
and i may be craving for it still even if the body is not there but there is craving for sensation from the body and that may dictate my imagination quite possible even today if you see like i am not getting some sensation the same sensation that i have been hoping for uh, and i am not getting it from the body right now but the craving might be there so that craving may can still persist in the self that could be also possible so my seer doer and enjoyer that role would be there but there would be limitations depending upon the competence that i have been able to develop while i was coexisting with the body that will be there and where i mean <laughs> if uh, we can verify it like uh, amrish bhai asked that question even if when we are choosing to you know, take a body or to participate in the larger order I mean, uh, we need a body to express or we need an instrument to express so based on that level of competence we take the body to express na no? like uh, yes. say, the level of sensation if uh, it means i am continuing then my part will be for saving many other things it means getting happiness from sensation and if i am uh, working upon myself and say uh, i want to uh, participate in the larger order to you know help the people in right understanding and right feeling then our effort will be in the same direction for you know, taking the body and uh, yeah, so... i feel like yeah like uh, when some people like we say we are similar or uh, you know, people are having common goal kind of thing so somewhere everybody has made their journey in that direction and they will come together once similar people come closer is it like that is my question clear bhai uh let me reformulate what you have been saying okay. so i need the body to ensure right understanding right feeling i also need the body to share right understanding right feeling and that sharing hai na may go up to one divided society universal human order and ensuring human tradition so i need the body to share i need the body to receive the proposal verify and validate when i am verifying when i am directly referring to the natural acceptance then i do not require the body but in that process of self verification when i am interacting with others to get the proposal clearly to get to the meaning of what is being said i do require the body so the body is my need isn't it now uh, when i come across people who are having similar inclination or similar priorities in life then we feel more related so for example we might be feeling more related to those who are attending the morning session now may not feel that much related to our family members also who are not interested in this activity maybe quite possible so that possibility is also there i think this was the second thing that you were mentioning yes yes, yes. right okay. thank you nice priya so to sum it up human existence a human being is coexistence of self and body the self is the seer doer and enjoyer it is central to human existence the need of the self is continuous happiness and for this the program of the self is to understand harmony and to live in harmony at all levels of being as an individual human being as a member of family as a member of society and as a unit in nature or existence production protection and right utilization of physical facility is a part of my program less than one fourth it is not the complete program the body is an instrument of the self the transaction between self and the body is only in the form of information there is no material transaction between me and the body and i am the seer doer and enjoyer it's not the body there is something that we discussed so far there is lot to explore here lot to investigate here so let me say that easier said than seen to see this whole thing uh, we have to you know really invest ourselves it may take a lot of time but we can always share it we can discuss it there is some limitation but, of time uh, so maybe uh, i can take up your okay. question in one minute ji uh, yes uh, regarding the suicide which you were done by the iit student actually in this case uh, i i just uh, don't understand because once uh, the, he gets the admission in good college and uh, if everything is going well why he goes for the suicide <laughs> because you have so much of peer pressure see if everybody around you 
is uh. a similar achiever and they are achieving more than what you are doing and all the uh. time you are being poked you are being mocked at your parents are asking so many questions and you know, why you have not been able to achieve this particular thing right the hmm. teacher might be scolding others are getting place you are not getting place others are scoring so well, you are failing in the subjects all the things are there this comparison is the one of the important factor comparison yes. with the other children yeah comparison and also many times our relatives or parents or you know, you know they might be poking also sometimes asking unnecessary things that is also quite possible it is generally found that if a huh. student has committed suicide within 2 huh. hours before he committed suicide hmm. he or she hmm. has got a call from the parents this is also many times found hmm. and then there are also issues like uh, uh, this infatuation that is also observed this is hmm. also a major reason for suicide among the hmm. teenagers nice bhaiya so we conclude now 